It's ribbon cutting day here at San Ramon Canyon. Let's check out how the ceremony went. Uh, if you all want to put your hand under, yeah, we'll you do this together. Okay. One. Give me a count of three. One, two, three. three. Yeah! Yeah! Very momentous day in Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, this is the largest infrastructure project that the city's ever undertaken. Uh, as I said in my remarks, there are a lot of people involved in getting this done from staff, contractors, engineers, past councils, residents, thousands upon thousands of hours to, uh, to bring this, this uh, very necessary program to completion. And uh, as you walk around, and this is the first time I've seen it completed, it's just an outstanding project, very well received by the crowd that was here today. And uh, we're lucky that, that this, this uh, storm drain project will serve the residents of RPV for you know, the next century. What, what made this become a project, because there's lots of projects floating around, what made this become a number one issue? I think the safety concerns of uh, flooding onto 25th Street and the erosion against the road bank embankment of, 20, of uh, Palos Verdes Drive East made it uh, high on the council's list of things to get done quickly. Um, there's some big hurdles because of the cost and there was even some pushback from the community but uh, we took the time to work through all that in a great way and of course the state came through with a grant which helped made it all possible. Were there any surprises along the way on the project? You know, just pleasant ones, really. We had a couple of hang-ups with the tunneling machine breaking down. That's kind of to be expected on a tunneling project. But um, they really got done uh, actually under their projected cost, and that allowed us to add some components that we weren't expecting to be able to add, things like improved drainage along the switchbacks and rehabilitating the pavement along PV at Tribe East. All very encouraging to be able to add things to your project. What about if, if residents want to know more about the project or take a look at the project, whether it be pictures online or anything like that? Yeah, we've, been, uh, we've had articles in our quarterly newsletter for the last three or four quarters. There's an online uh, web page for the project on the city's website, uh, and also the weekly reports that come out through the city manager's office have bi-weekly updates of what's been happening in the project. Well, we're back at City Hall with uh, city manager, Carolyn Petru, and she has some props with her. What, what do you have here? I have uh, the bucket. Uh, this is one of the five buckets that was used to dump the first load of water down our storm drain. So it has now been christened. A water toss. Let's go down to the drain. So are we ready? Oh, you want to come on over? Come on down. We're going to dump right into the drain. Don't okay, engineers, down. this is the big test of your system. <laughs> There's one. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Still standing. <laughs> I'm going to try and get Andy wet. Can I do that? All right. A little bit of change here. Um, we are collecting for the next infrastructure project. So if anyone's willing to make a donation, I'm, I've got my bucket. I'm ready. And and what's here? What do we have? Well, here? we have the umbrellas that we gave out uh, at the event for the attendees. So these are our official uh, rainmakers for the season. So because you know it's pretty dry out there, we, we need the rain. So and we're ready with our storm drain. Yeah, and I'm I'm glad we could have some fun here too because this was a pretty serious project that you were able to accomplish something this big. How do you feel now with it behind you? It's amazing. I mean. This this was the biggest infrastructure project the city has ever undertaken, and we, we couldn't have done it without the state grant. I mean, that was absolutely key to this project, but also um, the tremendous amount of teamwork that went into it, and it came off so well. It really um, was just beyond my expectations. Well, there it is. The ribbon's been cut. The San Ramon Canyon project is complete. For RPV-TV, this is Mark J. Dottie. Back to you, Maria.